Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And it's September 27th, 2019. We're in the electric room here. The wind was blowing all last night and it's been blowing all day today. And uh, look at the amps I'm putting out here, 25 amps. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not putting it out, I'm taking it in. And 14.4 uh, volts. It's more than what I need. So, uh, yeah, the uh, situation is like, wow, plenty of power. The sun's been shining all day, and uh, the wind has been blowing all night and all day. So, we've got some uh, real electricity. I had to go turn some things on. I was uh, working today and uh, decided, well, I better turn some some things on in the shop because I got more electricity than I need. Don't want to be boiling the batteries. So, uh, of course, everything is all set. Like that goes to 14.2, and it goes into float automatically. So uh, I don't get the uh, overcharge. But uh, one thing I did <clears throat> do, and I've been noticing at nighttime, even though I've got wind power coming in. The, uh, the batteries have been dropping down to 12 volts, 11.9. And I said, what happened? Why did that happen all of a sudden? Well, the only thing I can figure out is the Harbor Freight solar panels. Okay, not this set. This set goes through our own uh, Harbor Freight controller. But the eight of them that I have on the other side and the uh, four of them on the roof here, um, all are going directly onto my panel ties and then going through that system. Well, I think I figured out what the situation is. See, all of, the, uh, all of these other 100 watt panels I have all have the diodes built into them here. So that at nighttime, when the sun's not beating on them, it doesn't discharge back through the panels. Well, these panels don't have that. They just go in through here, have a little light to tell you there's power uh, coming through. But I think they, uh, I read in their book, I'm gonna have to recheck it, but in their instruction manual, I think they said that their blocking diodes are built into their controllers. So you have to run them through their controllers. Or I have some inline diodes that uh, I used to use before I knew that uh, all those panels already had diodes built into them. And I have a few packs of them still brand new sitting in my storage container. So I think I'll get some of those out and put them on the incoming wires of those solar panels um, that are on the back rack there and the ones that are on the roof here so that they can't back feed through the, those panels at nighttime. So I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that could be causing that because as you can see, my batteries are way above full charge so I got plenty of charge here. And if I'm not running anything through the night, I'm just sleeping, the only thing running is the refrigerators that should not be dragging me down that much, especially with this size battery bank. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm going to get those, dig out those diodes and get those installed. All right, let's move on. All right, this goes out to Anya and Carrie in, uh, I think they said Northwest um, Arizona. And uh, they've been with me, uh, following my channel for a long, long time. And we chat back and forth every now and then. And they were teasing me about raking up my rock tree leaves and the, showing that little pile that I had. Well, I, I said, yeah, I only showed you one of the seven piles that I had. And, uh, well, I just decided, well, that wasn't enough. I'm going to get more rocks than them. So look out here. This whole driveway is covered with billions, not millions, 
billions with a B of rocks because I got out my drag sled today and I pulled my drag sled all the way around here and I recut the roads, squared everything off so it's ready for the winter. So I don't have ruts that hold puddles and get muddy and deep and soft. So yeah, I went all the way around, all the way down and all the way down. So I got all my roads all uh, regraded and nice and flattened out. The little ridges, uh, I knock those down with the rake when I go through and pick up all these rocks. But yeah, there's a lot of rocks down here. A lot of rocks. And there's another pile of rock tree leaves. Look at that. I didn't pick that one up yet. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I got my, uh, my exercise um, section put up over here. So uh, I've got a few friends that are gonna be coming out and uh, they wanna exercise with me. So. I made sure I got everything set up and cleaned up and ready to go. All right. I think that's about it for today. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, over at the uh, uh, first dump station, I did move the second blue barrel out from over there. And I put it over here. And no, I haven't put the smoker away yet because... I don't have a place cleared for it, and I'm not just going to go put it in there and put it in my way so I have to move it a second time. So I'll be getting into organizing more inside the containers uh, so I can get it in there. And remember this one, I've got a, my homemade pot belly stove all the way in the back of it that's all hooked up and ready to go. So when the winter comes, if I feel like doing some work out here, I'm going to be probably working in this unit if it's really cold at night because I can light that uh, pot belly stove and I have lots of scrap wood here ready to uh, uh, burn in that thing and keep things going. Plus all of the extra um, branches and the little bushes that I had to pull out to make all these roads and stuff, they've all been seasoned and dried. I've got piles of them over there and uh, they're ready to get burnt up too. So why not, right? Oh, I better put my uh, snake gate back in place. I just came out here a little while ago and put some stuff away. All right. So I'm all ready. Uh, the girls were out uh, free ranging all day today. And uh, they had themselves a blast. They got into the compost pile and dug some holes. And now they're all tuckered out and they're all laying down over there in their little uh, protective units there. And you know, people say chickens aren't really that smart. Well, I'll tell you what. You see that little stool that's laying on its side over there? Well, that thing was facing the wrong direction. And the wind is, is coming from this direction. So one of the chickens wanted to get protected from the wind. So it actually moved that thing around to the right direction so that it blocked the wind and then crawled inside of it to be protected from the wind. Now, if that's not smart, let me zoom in on her. If that's not smart, I don't know what is, okay? Uh, the other ones are in a hole over there dug down. But uh, yeah, they're having their fun. I got my uh, hose curled up here because uh, as you can see, I, I ran my drag sled grader all the way through the roads here. and regraded all the roads so I wanted to make sure that I didn't run over my hose and chop it up and then the other hose I I drained this barrel down halfway and got the uh, the garden the the fruit trees soaked really good so they'll they're good for a couple more days and uh, no rain I was just watching the news the San Diego news on uh, and weather and they're talking about a possibility of showers down that way tonight, but uh, yep, nothing here. All right, everybody, I'm gonna cut this one short. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down there, please. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. The subscribership has been climbing. I thank you all for coming aboard. I, I, I appreciate that. Let's get this thing going, get some sponsors. We need sponsors. We need giveaways. We need to, uh, have things to cover and 
show you how good they are. By the way, uh, Resist Tourney uh, also commented that uh, he bought some of that rat deterrent spray and tried it around his barn, I guess it was, and he says no more rats, and so it does work. And uh, I have not seen a single desert ground squirrel anywhere in this area since I sprayed that stuff around. So I will be going back and getting myself a few more cans of that and keep it in stock because it never fails. With Home Depot, <clears throat> one of their biggest faults, every time I find something that they carry that works, they always end up discontinuing it. So I'm gonna make sure I have some of that on hand so in the next couple of years, if they discontinue it, I still have some. All right, G-Bear signing off.